welcome. We are playing a Vintage League tonight. We're going to play Not Me's Top 8 Challenge List. It is a Merfolk deck featuring the new Thieving Skydiver, which steals uh, artifacts. So if you want to kick and steal a zero, you have to pay three, but that's not too big of a deal. Uh, paying a mana to steal something is not bad, especially when you're stealing things like, um, oh, Stone Quail Serpents, stuff like that. Um, it's a pretty anti counter spell heavy deck or anti like combo heavy deck featuring a bunch of counter spells, fluster storm dazes, force trap negations, uh, and then you just have a, a mono blue beat down plan use, utilizing either vial to allow you to use strip mines and, and, and wasteland effects. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You you play Merfolk and they pump each other and you attack with them. Uh, I don't really think there's anything else crazy going on, so let's get into our league. We've got round one versus. Uh, vintage Eternal Weekend Champion of Mistress Workshop, uh, Static Grip. So this hand has not doesn't really have the ability to play cards. So I'm gonna put it back. Um, you'll have to address any questions of the list to not me, cause I it was not me who made it. <laughs> okay, that that actually worked out. We'll get with that. Um, it's a little unfortunate that we are on the draw with the chalice, because this hand would be a lot better with the chalice on the play. I mean, I, I don't really think you want to keep it on the back of chalice. If we were on the play, you could keep it on the back of chalice, but this kind of just seems like an easy way to lose to me. Like, if we think that our opponent might be on shops, like we don't have a force of will, I, I think, I don't think, I just don't think this is going to be good enough. This looks a lot better. Um, put one away, one vial, and one. Ooh, man, it's like got to be way too greedy to put away an island here. Um, God, it's just like so greedy to put away an island if opponent is on shops, but I feel like our hand doesn't function unless we keep both creatures, so. Pick this part of the cast, right? So you can't really violin this card, which I guess is pretty unfortunate. I mean, I think Skydiver is good. I just don't think it's very good with Vile, right? Five is a lot of mana. Is this going to be a Golos then? Oh, it's going to be a Cruiser. You got it. Beep, beep. All right. Hopefully I can close this now and we'll stop lagging. Beep, beep. It, unfortunately, the cruiser does mean that, like, stealing a mana crypt is kind of risky. It is a big, is a big old car. But if we just keep the car from being crewed, it'll be fine. It's a little weird. Yeah, it's a little awkward to, to be pitching an island in this situation, but I think because we're at five cards, it's just, it's just how it is. So I think we are going to pitch the Skydiver, though, just because we don't have. I mean. Yeah, this is like super awkward because we like do have a vial technically, but it does turn off our force of will. And we won't be able to play other spells. I don't actually think you can let them have this ball. What we really want to do is hit a land drop on our next turn so that we can play a creature. I kind of think it, it just have to force this, unfortunately. And I think I'm going to pitch this Skydiver. Yeah, like this is turning off our force of will anyways. And if they like... Yeah, that's pretty much the best possible card they can have follow up here because they get to turn off my vial and crew their cruiser. But like, what are we what are we going to do? I mean, those are just the perfect set of cards for this exact situation. Um, yeah, we just have to hit a land. This is what I was talking about. Why keeping the without having a land is kind of awkward, but. I mean. If we had not countered three ball, it would have been even worse, so. But we're just gonna die to this cruiser before anything matters. I don't even think we have any outs here. I guess what we could do is draw a Black Lotus. If we draw a Black Lotus, 
They just have a 7-7. Seven, seven. They have a 3-3 three, three Ballista. Yeah, they have a 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, so if we had... If we had kept Skydiver and drew Black Lotus, then we could have stolen the Serpent. Oh, we still die because they tapped the Serpent. Yeah, we're just dead. We kind of needed to be on the play. <laughs> I mean, it, not really, because we would have to drop Black Lotus. So it's like kind of impossible to make a keep like that. Uh, we got Fluxes and a dismember maybe um and we want to take out trap and misstep and cluster storm uh, maybe we can keep trap misstep cluster storm come in i mean do we have to needle ballista like we kind of do right or no maybe we don't because we have true name I don't, I don't really like bringing a needle for like that kind of stuff, but maybe it's better. It's like, I, I don't know that I've like never appreciated bringing a needle in like non bizarre matchups. I don't think that's true. Like you need the dudes to attack. <laughs> I don't think you're wait. I don't think you're naming wasteland. I, I think you're just way off base, Jake. Like you are the you are more the wasteland deck than they are. I mean, there's a lot of things that kind of answer it, yeah. No way, needle is base better than trap. Like I think need like it, I don't think if you if you wanted to sell me on on needle, I think you should be selling me on naming walking ballista maybe our creatures are big enough i don't know kind of awkward let's just bring in one needle for a trap i've never been a super fan of of trapping against chops i know it's okay but not really my thing right up villain What? Whoa, 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 what the hell happened? Did I just take the wrong pile? Oh, well, no, some of the. I wasn't looking. Did I just mistakenly take the wrong pile? Well, that's unfortunate. I, I. How did I get? Did I put I put the needle in the trap in the wrong pile? Oh, this is what I get for trying to make it obvious to the stream what I'm boarding in and out. I have all these like fluster storms and shit cards. A bless. I think. I'm supposed to play Silver Gill and not one of these vials. Kind of awkward, but I actually think that I'm supposed to. Yo, thanks, Pedro. You're a powerful wizard. I, I kind of unfortunate. I think we'll just lose, right? <laughs> Seems really hard for us. I drew the mental misstep, guys. <laughs> Not like this. Probably should have attacked first, by the way, but that's fine. I mean, I think we just have to, like, hard force a true name in. I guess we just, if we just draw a rune diver and we win the game, right? Well, I guess they would just I drew with these. This is this is so bad. Uh, I'm just so dead. 
Uh, maybe they'll play Soul Ring. Maybe it'll be fine. Yeah, like what we'd have like energy flux, right? <laughs> and we would just snap win the game, or we'd snap lose all our aether vials. I mean, sure. Fine. Um, we kind of just need to draw Rune Diver, right? Why do they have no play? How can they possibly have no play? They just skipped through it by accident. Give me a rune diver. I deserve it. I want to play game three with a crack board. Just give me the rune diver. I drew the knee. It's so weird. We just have like, oh, uh, very random cards. So I'm going to need walking ballista. No, yeah, naming card doesn't do anything. I'm not needling Ravager here. They don't have any artifacts. What are you talking about? Jake, why are you just suggesting all, like, really wild things? Uh... I don't understand. Helps the clock. Jake, if you keep trolling, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mute you. Or ban you or something. I'm I'm not I'm, I'm not doing this again. Not after last stream. I'm not having it. You can keep that zoomer energy out of here. Oh my god, they have another workshop. All right, we just don't have a clock. We need to draw like another. Uh, God, another a second workshop was just like the worst possible thing. At least we don't die to walking ballista. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm right. You see, I, all, right, all right, Jake, you're out. Time out for time out time out for the zoomers. Time out for the zoomers. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Time out, Jake. I'm back in ten. After you think it over. <laughs> oh, boy. We, we're not doing this again. Uh, <laughs> All right. We, we, uh, we kind of need to draw some helpfulness here. Like another true name. Nope. We're dead. All right. Well, that kind of happens because we just... I mean, opponent, opponent probably misclicked through their second turn, so it doesn't really matter, but. I mean, if we had an energy flux, we'd probably win that game, right? They have double workshop, so. It really was just like the sideboarding misclick that cost us, because I'm pretty sure with an energy flux, we win that. I don't know. That was my first game I've ever played. It can't be that bad. You're playing Force of Will and Ancestral Recall. I'm sure you can win games. That's my favorite thing. When I when I play a deck for the first I I, I don't I don't go around and play fish. <laughs> Justin, what do you think about fish? I don't I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, I just copied a list, man. Just copy the list. Didn't feel very good there, but I also had mental misstep and fluster storm in against shops, so. Try again. 